All right, guys, so I'm going to explain how to connect Google Sheets with Google Ads. So I created this chart here. As you can see, step by step, what we need to do to do the connection. Uh, so first, we need to get the client ID and secret. Then we need to get the refresh token. Then we need to get the access token. And then we're going to build the query and make a call to the API. I mean, it sounds a little bit complicated, but it's kind of straightforward. So I'm going to explain that. So let's start with the first one, client ID and secret. So basically you go to Google Cloud, right? You just type that Google Cloud Console. Just type that, you choose the first one. And then you create a project, right? So I was testing here. So you just create a project and then Google Ads. Google Ads test. And you create the project. Okay, that's, once that's created, you select the project here. You can see it here on the left, upper left. And then you go to Google Ads API. And then we need to enable the API. So you enable that. Okay, so once that's enabled, you click here and create credentials. And here you select application data. Next, you give it a name. So Google Ads test two, and then create a continue. Then you select a role, owner here, continue. And then this is optional, so just done. Okay, so that's, that's fine. So now you go here to OAuth consent screen. You get it started. Then you give it a name again, test to, you select a support email, you can select yourself. And then here you set up as external. Then next, uh, you can put your email again. Yeah. And then finish finish here. Um, okay, so now we need to create the OAuth client. And here you select web application, you give it a name. This is the last, the last step. Uh, test two. And here in a third array like your eyes, we need to add the one from OAuth playground, which is this one here. I'm going to explain that the next step when getting the refresh token, uh, but we need this one here and then create, so this is going to be in the description so you can get it quickly. Okay. So we have the client ID here and then we have the secret, right? So we can start building the spreadsheet, uh, with these details so we can save them. So if we go to a new spreadsheet, and then we go here, we can give it a name to the spreadsheet. So Google Ads Test. And then we go to Extensions, App Script. And we can name the project. So Google Ads Test, rename. And then here we can start building this, right? So we let's start with the config. So basically we need the client ID, the client secret, the refresh token, the developer token, customer ID and account ID. So I'm going to explain this later on, but we are here, right? Client ID and client secret. So we got them here, client ID, copy that. You paste it here, client secret, you do the same thing. Um, so one thing that might be useful is, um, so you don't get any errors when doing the authentication is you go here to audience and then you publish the app. Okay. Also, this is useful because if you don't publish the app, the refresh token, will have a validity period of like, I think one week. So, um, 
it's better if you push the app so you know you don't need to do this same process of getting a refresh token every time okay so we have the client id and the client secret so now what's the next step the next step is getting the refresh token right so to go to get the refresh token you need to go to google developer i mean you could do it in multiple ways you could do it using code um there are multiple ways of doing it right but like I think I found that this is the easiest way to get to get the refresh token, which is going to Google Developers Playground. And here you just need to follow some steps. So for example, first you need to select what's the API that you will going to use, right? So in this case, Google Ads is AdWorks. You can see it here. Um, AdWorks, where is, it? where is it? AdWorks, this one here. So as you can see here on the right, we have client ID and client secret. So we can use the same ones that we just got. Uh, this one here. And then client secret. Client secret. Authorize. And you click yes here then you click continue okay so now you click here and exchange authorization code for tokens and this is what we need here the refresh token this one here so as i mentioned if you get in here like uh, expires in for the refresh token part you also need to you need to publish the app uh, but in case in this case because i did it you see i only get this expires in but this is for the access token but it doesn't matter because you know we're gonna code a function to get a refresh token using their to get an access token using the refresh token every time all right so you know that's fine uh so you copy this you get you copy this and then we go to a sheet and then refresh token here. You paste that, all right? Okay. So now, before I go into access token, how to get the access token, um, we need to get something else, which is the developer token. And this is from Google Ads. Okay, so as I mentioned, we need to get now the developer token. And that token is in Google Ads itself. So, this is the developer token that, that I mentioned here. So how to get this token? So you are in the manager account, right? And in the manager account, you type here, API center. It's gonna take you to this one here. And if it is the first time that you're doing this, it will, it will tell you that you need to apply for it, right? You need to apply for the developer token. So it's a small questionnaire. And when you finish it, you're gonna get access to this one, which is, the access level is this account. But if you want to use this in production, meaning that you wanna have like an automation and it will be using real data, you need to apply for basic access, okay? At least. Uh, same, it's just a larger questionnaire. Once you finish it, it takes like one, two days and then you can, uh, you can make calls, okay? So once you have the developer token, you copy that and then here we paste it right and then we need the customer id and the account id so this customer id is the manager accounts id and this account id is the clients that we're managing right so let me explain so for example this is a test account that i created for this demo for this video and here you can see that I created this client and this is the id for that client meaning that's the ID that needs to go here in account ID. And the ID that needs to be here in customer ID, sorry, customer ID is this one here, the one that you have for manager account, right? So this is for like getting data from for clients that you're managing, right? Uh, so basically what you do is like you go, for example, let's try this one here for demo client two. So you copy that and then you paste it here in account ID. Make sure you remove, remove the dashes. 
so it needs to be without dashes. And the same here for the manager account. Copy that. And then you paste it here and you remove the dashes as well. Okay, so with that we already have config and that's that's everything that we need to make calls to the API. So now we need to go, we need a function that is gonna request the access token. So as I mentioned, the refresh token is a token that we use to make calls to an endpoint to get an access token. And with that access token, we can make calls to the API itself. So here, we need a function for it, right? So I already have the code, so I'm just gonna walk you through the code so it's faster. So this is the, 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 the function to get the access token. So it receives config, right? And it's making a call to this endpoint, Google APIs endpoint is token. And as you can see here, the grant type is a refresh token. So we're passing that refresh token and then we're getting back the access token. That's pretty much what it's doing, right? So this, that's what it, so when you already have that, the last step is just building a query and getting the data, right? So I also have the function, let me copy paste this so you can see it. Okay, I also added some steps so you can see step by step what it's doing. So for example, in this case, step one, we, we're getting the access token, which is we're calling this function and we're getting the access token then we're building the query. So you may ask, okay, how, how to build this query? So this is SQL pretty much, but there is something called uh, that you can um, that you can search for. It's called um, Google Build Query. This one. So for example, I'm gonna put this links in the description so it's so you can access them easily but basically you can build the query here and it's going to help you with everything so for example here you can see all the things that you can bring so in this case we're going to bring just data from campaign as you can see here in the code we're bringing from campaign we're getting this data just the id name and impressions from the last 30 days and then we're just making a, a certain here but let me go back here. Yeah, so for example, here, if you were to select campaign, you it gives you like everything that you can select that you can bring from the API. And then you start building, as you can see the query, right? So, so yeah, you know, once you finish building the query, you just copy that and you paste it here. And that will be the query pretty much. So once you have the query that you want to, with the data that you want to bring, then we need to make a call to this endpoint. As you can see, we're basing what will be the client, the data we need from. And then here's pretty much the request, right? So we're making a URL fetch request post to that, but we're passing in this case, the developer token, and we're also passing the access token. So once we get the data back, we're just parsing the data as a JSON. And then here we're getting what sheet we need to write the data to, right? So in this case, you can see that I have a sheet called sheet one. So that's what I'm putting here, sheet one. And then here I'm just writing some headers, right? So column A is gonna be campaign ID, column B is gonna be name, and column C is gonna be impressions. But you know, like if you bring more data, you can just modify this to whatever you bring in. And then pretty much here, I'm writing the data to a sheet. Let's save this and now let's test it out, right? So what we need to test is this one, right? Get Google Ads campaigns. So the first time that you do it, it's gonna ask you for to grant access, so advance, yes, I grant access. You select and continue. So you can see here that, that brought the data. So this is the data. And as you can see, for example, the name of the campaign 
the test that I created is called sales search one. So if we check, uh, let me see where, where I have that data. Yeah, you can see it here, right? So sales search one, that's of course there's nothing because this is just a test, but I ideally it will bring all the campaigns for the last 30 days. And you can see it's zero because well, nothing, right? Impression zero. And this is the ID. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can bring data to a, to a spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, you know, from there you can, you can play with these two functions. So for example, here you can play with this query and you can, you know, modify the query based on whatever you want to bring. It works the same, you know, like you can just build a query with any of these and it's gonna work. And then you need to modify this last part also, depending on how you wanna format the data and write the data to a sheet. Um, so that's it guys. So yeah, you know, like, let me know if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask them down, down below in the comments. All right, thanks.